The Bills beating the Chiefs in Kansas City last night handily. Yeah. 38-20. Watch some of that game, man. I mean, the Chiefs just never in it. Changing of the guard in the AFC. Mm. Where'd, where'd you get that? <laughs> I, I thought that would... Please uh, clap. I thought that would really... <laughs> Resonate but, more? Yeah. Changing of the guard in the AFC. Kansas City loses to Buffalo by 18 in Kansas City. Let me play uh, Michael the Wilbon card. It's October. Yeah. Okay. It, <laughs> it is. is October. It is. It's early. Kansas City's lost three already. They've got a losing record right now. They're two and three. Yeah. Who would have thought that? And the game was delayed, I think, Dave, lightning. by at least an hour because of a lightning storm. Now, how does NBC, the network that broadcasts the game, fill the time when they have... They showed every highlight they could, but they still had time to go. So they go down to Michelle <laughs> Tafoya. She's outside the Bills locker room. And the Bills were trying to keep their energy up by having peanut butter and jelly sandwiches. <laughs> Michelle reports. They are eating, eating sandwiches, although a couple have complained to me that there's too much peanut butter on the sandwiches. It's like 70-30 with the jelly, so they're not enjoying those as much. All right, we're going to send it back to the studio. Mike Tarico, I want to know what the proper ratio is on a peanut butter and jelly sandwich. Back to you. Well, I have a nut allergy, so I'm the one here who's not the expert. I'll turn to you guys. Proper well, balance there, guys? To me, the real question is, is it grape jelly or strawberry jelly? Does that matter? Yeah. And then how are we cutting it? Are we cutting it, you know, square or re rectangular? And white bread or whole or wheat? Triangle. Yes. Yes. Christ, they sound like us. <laughs> yeah, just trying to get to, just trying to, get to, to the get end. Listen, get through it. Is, this, this, is, this is it still <laughs> raining? It is. <laughs> Keep going. <laughs> you want me to wrap it up? No. 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 Keep going. I'm going to tell you, this does. Uh, this is a hot topic okay, to me. Uh, yeah. uh, uh, I do like to talk ratios on sandwiches. And by the way, let's get into that. First of all, Michelle Tafoy says, well, they're having peanut butter and jelly sandwiches. They, they don't like too much jelly on the sandwich. Al Michaels, what's the proper ratio? And then Mike Tarico. I have a nut allergy. <laughs> so typical. Come on. Uh, so I wouldn't expect anything else from Tarico. Uh, that, is the, that is the most Tarico thing of the night. When was the last time he had fun? Uh, exactly. Uh, I have a nut allergy. Of course you do. <laughs> Let's throw it to Drew Brees. At least he's had a peanut butter and jelly sandwich in his life. I, I would think, and this is just off the top of my head, if I'm making a peanut butter and jelly sandwich, I think it's two-thirds to a third. PB uh, to J. Um... Yeah, I'm more peanut butter than jelly. Definitely. I'm not. I'm more. I do two thirds jelly. Two thirds what? jelly? Yeah. No. I don't right. know That's... if I'd go that heavy, but I'd go at least heavier jelly. I'd go 60 40. Yeah, me too. Heavy jelly. Maybe 70 30. That's, no, but it, yeah. that's what they were calling you. What's your nickname? <laughs> heavy jelly. There's heavy jelly. Oh, it's worse. Man, heavy that should have been my nickname. There he is. Little heavy jelly. Oh, man. Oh. Uh, I have some thoughts on this. I think that's why we have weight issues. I think you and I <laughs> clearly I that's too that's, much jelly. That's sugar. Yeah. That's you think it's weight related? Jelly is <laughs> nothing but sugar. <laughs> I think it's weight related. That is nothing but sugar, and <laughs> all of it. All I, of it. That's look, all, well, really yeah. bread too. Well, yeah, yeah. I love a good. I like the pop of the jelly when Me you take too. a bite. Me too. It, the hmm. peanut butter I need for just a little taste, but a little peanut texture. butter, a little texture. Yeah. Ooh, I'm totally the disagree. Yeah. Oh, no, I, yeah. I don't I want peanut butter. The peanut butter jelly. The jelly is just the. It, it's just a sparkle in there. I don't oh, want to yeah. sit there and just have to mouth a bunch of peanut butter. All right. Well, that's right. what yeah. the jelly's for. It's just enough to cut it. Yeah. Oh, no. I so like, it doesn't stick. Yeah. I, I, I would rather have more jelly, like a big squirt of jelly. I also like grape jelly over strawberry. I'm with you. I, I like a classic that. peanut butter take grape jelly. Take, yeah. take grape over peanut butter? Uh, of, of those two, I would definitely. Yeah. But, as, yeah. but if you want a real one, black raspberry. Well, of course. Thanks me later. There's the Tarico. <laughs> uh, black raspberry. I don't even know what that means. <laughs> I think you can go all kind. That's that's the that's the difference. You can go. I've done apricot. Oh, have you? Oh, are you kidding me? Peach. You've done a peach on a peanut butter. Blackberry's good. Yeah, black but, but strawberry's work. good. Yeah, I mean, uh, grapes okay. It's very kindergarten. That's what I like. I like white bread, grape jelly, and more jelly. I like mostly jelly. With the crust cut off. The crust He's cut. a grown man. I do like the crust cut. I do like the crust. You and heavy cut. jelly. I, me and heavy jelly. I think that's. I think that was the beginning of our weight issues. I think. Yeah, I think the white bread is key. I do too. A, well, gu a gummy white's nice. Well, that's mm -hmm. what you know. At the end there, boy, they all weighed in on it. Uh, even Drew Brees was like, "Well, do you cut it on the diagonal or yeah. down?" The Diagonal's a fun cut. My, my my nanny used to cut them diagonally. It's a better cut. I think diagonal is better because you get the corner in your mouth. I like that, but mm -hmm. I I want the I want the crust removed, and then and yeah. then you know. Were you pre K? I, I, 
Even Your kindergarten. Pre-K, but, he's heavy jelly. Uh, heavy jelly and pre-K. <laughs> when Kristen retires, we're going to call it heavy jelly, pre-K, <laughs> <and> apri- apricot. <laughs> oh, apricot jelly over here. <laughs> now, which one's we? That's right. Have uh, you not seen these things that, and I, this makes me sound terrible, but these Uncrustables, have you heard I of these? I love the Uncrustables. Yeah, yeah, yeah these things them. are unreal. They're great. They're great. What a great invention. <laughs> no, I, I don't go few... down the children's aisle at the store. Oh, no. I, <laughs> listen, I found it just a few months ago because I was splitting one with my niece. Oh, yeah, they're great. Your niece... Oh, one niece, she handed me half of it. I was like, what's this? How old is she? Uh, three. Right. <laughs> <laughs> Who yeah. makes those? Fisher Price? <laughs> no, that's a, that's a Smucker's product. <laughs> yeah, is it? That's a... That's the best invention mm-hmm. in peanut butter and jelly since Goober Grape. Well, it's got yeah. to be good. It's they, bunkers. Oh, it's it's good. Yeah, they, it's, it, you, they're in the freezer, but then you put them in the kids' lunchbox and they thaw out by lunchtime, and they're tremendous. Yeah, mm-hmm. that's a great. She product. came walking over, handed me half, watched some TV together. It was great. Let me get you, I got the box. My big box store sells them fifty at a time. Yeah. Oh, oh yeah. That's I, where they get theirs. The uh, big box. Maybe oh, yeah. you two can exchange some. You, you, Kelly, you can get the. Uh, well, now Biggie's a member of the big box store. That's uh, right. I am. For his Alani New, you could you could swap sandwiches for sodas. Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah. The um at the end there, it was Tony Dungy who said it really you know whole wheat and white makes a big difference, and he's right. He, yes, mm-hmm. he uh, whole wheat. I don't think is whole wheat's great if you're doing turkey mayonnaise or something like yeah. that. You but know, you, vegetables. You got to go tomato. peanut butter and jelly. Mm-hmm. Gummy white. white. Yes. And now this, I, I just you know we're talking about bread and consistency. No one's ever toasted a peanut butter and jelly well, sandwich. Well, that have was my next question. The bread? I hear that's phenomenal. I, I hear if you toast a peanut butter and jelly, it's really, really now, good. Peanut butter Never toast changed my life <laughs> when I was a young alcoholic, 20-something. You'd put peanut butter on toast? Peanut butter toast is late night snack. Mm-hmm. The bomb. Very good. The bomb. Well, I used to mix peanut butter and honey and just eat it straight. Or put it on a sandwich. Without a delivery device? <laughs> I would do both. You're like a bear. Uh, was, <laughs> oh, bother. <laughs> really good. Well, I mentioned now the last time I did that though, I had a, a it got ca- lost in hundred acre wood. Well, I, <laughs> eats it with no pants. <laughs> I had a cavity, and boy, when that it hits a honey hole, now that's that, that's, that, that's, that's how I got to say call it the honey hole. <laughs> yeah, that is that, it's like molasses, or you know, so sickly sweet, Thick, it's hard to get it out of there. I can't get it out, Ma. <laughs> get the vacuum. The uh, <laughs> our school when we we used to have. Occasionally, peanut butter and honey sandwiches. In fact, like once a week, they'd mix big vats of peanut butter and honey. <laughs> That's expensive. <laughs> well, I don't know. Yeah, I wondered why they did, but I liked that. We never had that. We had peanut butter and jelly sometimes. We do. They do peanut butter. School and honey. made? Yeah. Yes. Oh, yes. We never did that. The peanut butter and honey would just be mixed together. It was like one thick paste, and I found out later what gave it that great sweet taste was the honey. Mm-hmm. And so my mother used to start making it for me. Gosh. Gosh. I'm sorry. I'm all into this now. Yeah. And, and didn't mean to get off into food. Well, it's, lucky, it's lucky that the rain delay happened. That's How why long I, was the delay? An hour. An hour. A whole hour? Yeah. It was yeah, at least. It was a while. Rosebud is talking about peanut butter and jelly sandwiches. Rosebud, a comment on this. Go ahead. Good morning, P1 Salisbury. Thank you. Yes, sir. Uh, now, for, just for argument's sake, I'm strictly a strawberry guy. Mm. However... You haven't lived until you put peanut butter on one pancake, strawberry jelly on another pancake, butter on the top pancake, and smother the entire thing with an obscene amount of maple flavored syrup. <laughs> Not the good stuff. Don't go to Vermont for this. Go to Log Cabin. And <laughs> my Mrs. Butterworth. It's, Man, it's boy, boy, that sounds pretty good. It's like uh, it's like a French crepe meeting mm-hmm. American pancakes. Yeah, <sighs> that really does sound good. That. That's a sweet breakfast. Now, Biggie don't like a sweet breakfast. That's a little too Mm-mm. rich for me. Thank you, Rosebud. Syrup and jelly. I, w- I would try something like that. And I do like a heavy flow of jelly on my PB&J. Heavy, heavy killer jelly. Uh, <laughs> Eddie, you're talking about grilling a peanut butter and jelly sandwich. Go ahead. Yeah, if you just grill one, just like you do a grilled cheese, you could use you know mayo or, or butter or whatever, but um, it's the bread's not as crunchy as toasted, but the peanut butter is like fully melted, mm. and it's really, really good. Mm. I like I that. Is good I, when the peanut butter melts. Yeah, that's what that's what scares me. Oh, I like that. I'm you like, sure? I do. It's, I, it's so good. It is. It's I, ridiculously good. I make those um, no bake cookies where you do the oatmeal with peanut. Love butter. those. Yeah. Well, before I put the oatmeal in, I'll just take some out that's just like melted peanut butter and chocolate and just eat it. Oh. You put peanut butter in there. Yeah, it's peanut butter and chocolate. And, uh, I thought it was just when chocolate. When no bake is, is, takes too long. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> 
We got to wait an hour for him to sit. It is stuff dough top, and then uh, you do have to wait. You got to wait for him to cool. We That's, never do. Yeah. I never do. <laughs> Tom Petty said it best. Yeah. It'd just have been easier to bake them. Yeah. Waiting's right. the hardest part. Right. The waiting. Yeah. Is so I don't wait on things. No, you don't. No. Not when it comes to food. 